What is something that in real life is far more horrific than the way it is depicted in movies? Getting stabbed. In my case the blade was super sharp so I didn't even feel it go in. 6 inches. I sure as hell felt it come out. It doesn't bleed much unless it hits something or you're stabbed repeatedly. Either way fuck that. I do not recommend. Having to pull the plug on someone's life support. No one tells you that it can take upwards of a week for the body to finally give up if there's even remotely any activity in the brainstem. In this case there was minimal activity that was getting slower. So you think you have yourself prepped to let someone go. And instead you may have to watch their body wither and dehydrate before finally giving up. It's almost inhumane to watch. We wouldn't do that shit to pets. I can't believe that we do that to humans. To kids. I never want to have to go through that again and I hope Bo one else has to experience it. Hitting someone in the head to make them unconscious. The act would more likely cause brain damage or death. Suicide by taking in a whole bottle of pills. I was a lot younger. 13 I think. So I don't remember it that clearly. I was at my friend's house when I heard a lot of banging upstairs. When I went up, I saw him clawing at his throat choking and wheezing. I called for an ambulance. But because of traffic they couldn't make it in time. We were the only people in his house too. And I think I blanked out a lot but it stretched out for like 8 minutes. Closest neighbors were also absent. Eventually. He started puking a lot and he was turning blue fast his convulsions only slowed down about two minutes before he died. I think it depends on what drugs you take. Since some are stronger and such. But he wasn't lying on the floor with a clean face. A peaceful expression. And an empty bottle of pills near his body. Jumping, falling through windows, glass. In movies people do this pretty casually as a cool stunt. In reality glass shards are incredibly sharp and by smashing through it with your body you are causing large heavy shards of it to drop down on you like a damn guillotine. The larger the window the worse it will be. I was at a party where a guy jumped through a ground floor window onto grass once. He'd been drinking and thought it would look cool. And he did not get back up. He rolled around in agony while people tried to patch him up until the ambulance arrived. I always picture him every time someone just casually leaps or is thrown through a window in movies. And imagine the whole film stopping while the hero just rolls around screaming and bleeding out. Edit I am sure some people have been fortunate enough to achieve this without significant injury. But the odds are not in your favor. Unless you found some sugar glass. Family arguments. Car crashes. CPR. Drowning is silent. Death. I work in palliative care and when I watch movies when a patient has a little head scarf on. Pale and they are saying goodbye and then they flatline as completely off. In real life, you deteriorate until you are bed-bound. There's pain. You're shrivel until you are a skeleton. You sleep so much until you don't wake up again. And then you remain that way for a few days, weeks. Then you get the death rattle. Your lungs sound like a wet crackle. Then the family will be visiting for that long time until one time they notice that their loved one has stopped breathing. Or there is no family there and I realize they are not breathing. Or the role of death. Staff will roll to change the person. And when they are rolled back onto their back they stop breathing. It's not pretty like the movies. Add on. One example. In movies everyone cries over the dead body and it a beautiful moment. But I had one patient that had a stomach blockage and she only ate green jello for weeks. When moment she passed all off the jello came back up and covered her head to toe. 
It was so traumatic for the husband and small kids to witness. We quickly went in, cleaned her up and brought the family back in. But I will never forget that family. This might not be horrifying to the extent of others' comments. But overhead welding without long sleeves fucking sucks. Movies are always showing someone welding with badass ripped sleeves and tight jeans. It literally burns you with the sparks or molten filler metal can drip down on you. Sometimes you catch on fire and then there's the getting sun burned from the light it makes. Don't get me started on the fumes that cause neurological problems in later years. Next time you see a welder. Ask them to show you their scars. We all have good ones with stories. I know all of M zine I was wearing the right clothes and equipment and still have burns that turned into scars. Edit. I forgot the HD bacon sound paired with burning flesh smell that happens when it gets inside your ears. Knockouts from head trauma. If you watch MMA or a similar combat sport, you'll notice that when someone gets knocked out they're awake again in just a few seconds. While in movies once someone is knocked out they are removed from the equation. If they're unconscious from a blow to the head for more than a minute or two they've got a dangerous concussion and probably long-term brain damage. After just a few more minutes yeah. They're never waking up and that movie character totally killed that guy. A severe asthma attack. Being fully conscious while not being able to get over 10% of the oxygen you usually do is very, very scary. It's strange. You can feel every individual part of your body struggle as you're unable to breathe and the pain in your lungs feels like a stab wound. And my god. Never look in a mirror during an asthma attack. You never want to see yourself struggle to survive work. It only lasts a few scenes in movies. Death. Animal and human. Movies and shows make it tame and almost graceful. I've only seen one death like that. Every other has smells and sounds that still haunt me to this day. Strangling someone. I watched something that reenacted how long it takes someone to die from asphyxiation. Dot you gotta. Be fucked up to be able to look someone in the eyes for that long while killing them. And the effects of chloroform. It takes quite a bit longer to render someone unconscious via inhalation than is depicted in movies and on TV. War. Snapping someone's neck. No. It won't instantly kill you. It'll be horrifically painful and the person will most likely survive albeit crippled. The sound of gunfire at close range. When someone shoots a large caliber gun in the same room or in a car. If you don't have hearing protection, you'll be unable to hear for a while and the damage could be permanent. Movies get this wrong all the time. PTSD. I can't express how frustrating is to see that the people we've grown up seeing in books and movies experience horrible things and then be 100% fine afterwards. It happens that people are fine after trauma. But sometimes they aren't and people rarely ever see that. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.